Hi guys, it's Down Under Monkey and today is package day. Uh, I received this in the mail from Feral Shooter, uh, aka Nick, my mate from up north. Um, he sent me a couple of packages already. One had this SMG dial and um, this Dom Plura and this uh, whatever that is, anchor lock. A really cool keyway. Uh, so he got some more locks in and I decided to get some more off him. Um, so yeah, let's get this open and find out exactly what he's put in this one. I seem to have lost my knife, so we'll stick with the scissors for now. You know your package is going to be good <clears throat> when it says bend your knees, assisted lift may be required. So this has quite a bit of weight in it. So, let's figure out how we're going to attack this. This is quite a bit in here. I'll start by separating the masses into smaller piles. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's another bag. something else now we, we spoke about what's in this package but I just get so excited when I open in a new package and I forget everything so let's have a week of what's in there right. <clears throat> let's start with uh, actually let's start with this one this looks like fun just going to cut that in three because it's going to be easy to get the cylinders out. So, oh, maybe I'll cut that too. Ooh, pop the key out, oh, that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so this is a just a run of the mill Nemeth. Just a cylinder for me to practice on. There's some cool bidding. Okay, so that's the Nemeth. I've, I've got a few practice locks off him. Um, which once I've picked them, I'll probably move them on to the community. That's an Eva. Oh, cool. That's a mad looking key. Look at that bidding. Nice. I had a boo boo today, so don't mind the band aid. I'm not going to die. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Alright, so we have here. What is this one? This is a Corbin. Double Euro. Well, that's some pretty cool bidding. Nice. And keyways that I'm not used to. Um, I find when I'm picking Lockwoods, I'm so used to the keyways now. I, I've learned to get around a lot of things, <clears throat> whereas the newer ones, uh, newer, different different region blocks, um, I'm starting to learn those keyways, which is always handy. You've got to be a bit more versatile than just picking the locks that you get in your region. Sometimes you've got to reach out and get some extra locks. Look at that. It's an interesting looking lock. I forget what the name of this is, uh, but that is cool. Um, Northern Electric, maybe. Look at that key. That's crazy looking. Looks like a lever lock. Oh, it's turned a bit in the mail. Boy, look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. That is nifty. Looks like a Soviet-era nuclear launch key or something. That's cool. Thank you, buddy. I can't wait to give that some sort of investigation. I can't pull it apart without ruining it. But uh, 
I'll have to um, update everyone on what that is, the exact name of it, but besides being cool, I'll get the exact name of that. And then we got this little one, <coughs> which is a, what appears to be an Abloy Classic, no, maybe not, because um, the key shape is different. Pull that out of the way. Um, I will get back to you on that one too. That key shape is weird. Unless somebody else knows. But it kind of looks like an Amboy Classic. Nice little draw lock. Or a, a lock of some description for a door. Or Really nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's really cool. Alright, what are we going to go into now? Let's go into this bag. A big bag of goodies. And pull out an American. Uh, right. So. It's a six pinner. Ah, this is the closed shackle monster. Yeah. So it's a series 748. I did learn the other day what these markings mean. Um, Purple Skull sent me a chart on the. It's got to do with the date that it was manufactured. So RNH um, is a month and then a year. But I will do my research on that. Um, and there is your bidding, which gets pretty wild down the front here. But these are a monster of a lock. I will probably feature one of these in my Monday feature lock series because they're just, they're awesome. They're a nugget or a toe breaker as I like to call them. Next in the box, another American. Um, let's have a look see. Ooh, nice. Long Shackle Series 50 VNGZ5. Um, again, I've got a chart somewhere. I've got to print it out and put it up on my wall of things. Oh, there's the bidding. That's pretty good. Like a zero there. High lift at the back. Nice. I do love my American locks. I've got little bit of a collection going on now. Right, thank you sir, that was very good. Now, next in the box, this one I'm excited about. Well, I'm excited about all of them, but this is a Zeiss Icon, which is a magnetic lock. Well, it has a magnetic element to it. So we we'll get all the stuff out of it. Give you an idea of what it looks like. I won't use the one with the tag because it's annoying. Alright, so on your key you've got what looks like uh, some bidding on the key but it's on the side of the key and on the top of the key. All right, and then you've got these magnets in the center which is your magnetic element and there's your keyway. Let me turn on the front light. So there's your keyway. There's some pins in the top here. And nothing down the sides. So the magnets must interact with whatever is in the side of the cylinder. Maybe a sidebar that they draw in. And uh, definitely looking forward to manipulating this in some way to get it open. I've got some theories that I'm working on, but that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a good one. All right. Um, please go and check out Feral Shooter's uh, YouTube channel. He's got a couple of videos up, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty more because he's got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Alright, now we have uh, Anchor Lass, 
padlock. Ooh, that's a looks like a disc container. So there's the keys. Sparkle, sparkle. Oop, get the bloody condensation off there. That's a cute little thing. Very shiny. And glass, Sweden. And there's your keyway inside. And it is a springless shackle and a dead core. But that's going to be fun. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> and a mummified lock. Oof. All right. Ah, uh, this is the environmental. So there's a Sergeant and Greenleaf environmental. I'm sure this is the environmental. Nice lock. Now this one doesn't come with a key, I'm aware of that. I'm actually going to try and make a key for this one. Um, it is possible. Um, my mate Nick, who's sent all this stuff, um, actually built one for one of his locks the other day. So he's done some good stuff. So I'm going to check out what he did and try and replicate it with this lock. So there's another challenge for me to add to the ever-growing list. <laughs> oh, nice. Pack lock. Jeez, that's sealed. Like brand new sealed. I'm going to open that. Whoa. Look at that. The finish on these things is just awesome. Just a nice milled aluminium block. There's the keys. Very, very nice. Get out the keys. Come on. Ooh, I like it. There's the bidding. That's the very first pack lock I've got, but these keys look like. Ah, oh, there we go. Just had to push it in a bit deeper. It's probably just tight. Straight from the manufacturer line. There we go. A pack lock 100A. That's a nice little lock. Absolutely beautiful design. Just simple. Minimalistic. Alright, what else have we got in here? Got a couple. In that little box. A little bag there. Let us chop and see. Come on. Come on. Get open. Alrighty. Ziploc baggy. Kesso. That's a nice looking key. Dimple lock. Very nice. Lips Kesso. Runs like a dream. And inside there is all the magic. Which lines up with those. And it's sort of like a... I don't know if the camera shows it up. It's not flat, the key. It's got ridges down the center of it. Kind of like a sword. Slay the lock. Anyway, that's another one for the pile. I do need to get myself a set of dimple picks or make some out of some injector pins. Now, what have we got here? So, bag of bits and bobs. Okay. And another bag of bits and bobs for cam locks. And 
Uh, I know what's coming up. There's two camlocks here I'm particularly excited about. This thing is called a tuba, if I'm saying that correctly. There's the key, and there's your keyway. I was literally just watching a video the other day of when one of the larger channels picked one of these. I think it might have been LPL. That's a nifty looking lock. Nice, nice, nice. I've never seen a key like that before. Well, actually, very similar. Starry Lock picked a, I think it was a Brady safe key, and it kind of looked like that. So, yeah, that's nifty, man. Thank you so much. That must be what some of these little brackets are for, the back of the cam, in case you want to lock something up. Wow, that's awesome. Nifty, nifty. And the next one. Ooh, I was excited about this one coming too. This one is called a turbine. Comp X, I think that says. Yeah, right. So it's kind of... Oh, let me turn that off because that really just shone in the camera. And Hey, look, you can see me in the lock. If you ever wondered what I look like, there you go. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a tubular lock. But just, uh, different. That's really cool. And the key only goes in one way. Like that. Get back in focus, you. Oh, I'm focused on all the wrong stuff. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, having a crack at some of these locks. That's amazing. And I saved the best to last. Oh. This, uh, this particular style of lock has been... Uh, well, I've been seeking it for a while. Nick happened to get a couple. And um, I was lucky enough to be able to get one off him. So, get that off camera. <clears throat> Pretty unassuming little cube. It's called a van lock. And focus. And that's the key. And that's where the key goes. So, um, let me see, yeah right, so that's a dead core as well, and a dead shackle, that is awesome, cool man, that is so cool, I don't even know where you found these, but I'm so glad you kept one for me, that is amazing. It's only a tiny little lock, but man, that is so cool. Van lock. Comes with two keys. Wow. Kind of looks like a salt shaker or something. And then there's your keyway. Or pinway, whatever you'd call it. Runaway, if you're trying to pick it. Um, no. Wrong way. There we go. So there you have it. The van lock. That I was very excited about getting that one. Um, with all the locks you see here, I got them from my mate. Uh, he does have some of this stuff. So if you do want anything like you see here, um, let me know, and I can put you in touch with him. Really nice guy. Really easy to deal with. But yeah. This all comes from Feral Shooter, aka Nick, my buddy up the coast. Um, thank you so much, Nick. Oh, I can't. I, I don't have words for uh, you know for all of this. Besides, thank you, mate. It's uh, it's awesome, and I uh, can't wait to deal with you again. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed that. And these locks 
a lot of this stuff's going to come up on my Monday feature locks with a lot of the other stuff I've got as well. So uh, lots of content to keep me busy and hopefully keep you guys entertained. So um, thank you so much for watching. If there's anything you like, let me know. I'll put you in touch with Nick. That thing, that's awesome. But the van lock, your favourite lock. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.